So, my protein skimmer has just arrived. Right then, let's get this bad boy opened up. everywhere in a bog oh my god oh well didn't expect that I don't think there's anything else in here but you know what my luck's like Told me something that I need, and I go and throw the bowman box out. Eh? Nah, 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 there's nothing in there. So, I can move this. Alright, let's have a look here. That's pretty cool. Try do this one harder, there we go. Skimmer. It's a Royal Exclusive Double Cone 180. So should do the job perfectly. And <laughs> by the looks of things, I don't, I don't have any uh, building to do. I think the whole thing's pretty much built. I think all it is is a case of. Uh, Touching the pump, I think. Nice. Okay. And this is without doubt already <laughs> the best skimmer I've had in my life. <laughs> solid so cool right pump so you can see why I didn't um, have room for the refusion in this sump because this thing's going to take up a fair bit of room like left-handed
So the reason I went for the, the double cone is because just for a, like a maintenance thing, um, the pump actually sits outside and I just think it's going to be far easier for maintenance because when the pump sits inside the skimmer, like pretty much every skimmer I've ever owned, when it comes to maintenance, I just can't be bothered taking the whole skimmer out, taking everything apart, cleaning the pump and then putting everything back together again. It's such a pain in the backside. So with this model, I thought, nah, that's the way to go. The pump's on the outside. Need to give it a, the pump a bit of maintenance. It's dead simple, so. That was the plan. That's why I went with this. So, books, big, big, big. Controller. Cool. Very nice. I've got no idea what any of this is, but we'll figure it out. Well, that must be the feet. Okie doke. Right, I'll get this thing put together. There we go. Fits perfect. But, like I said, pretty much takes up that whole section. So... In order to get a refuse jump, I need to build one. So, I'm pretty happy with this. And I didn't realise, but this middle section comes in, which is a really cool feature. Uh, overall, very happy. But just got to get the rock in, cycle the tank, and I'll leave the skimmer switched off until the cycle completes. And then we'll get this bad boy running. So I decided to rip everything out again, <laughs> just so that I could stick on uh, some sticky back plastic onto the back of here, onto the back of the sump, just so that you know, seeing wires and everything behind it. Just think it'll make for bit of a cleaner look so sticky back plastics went on perfectly just used a little soapy water it says bleach but isn't it? just soapy water squirted it on and just stuck this stuff on there by that okay right that's the sump put back into position and just a little thing but i'm glad i did it because just looking in here and seeing all the cables going down the back of there, it was kind of nipping my head. So that kind of just camouflages things a little bit. Eh? But the protein skimmer's in position. Now, <laughs> you can see how much space it takes up, so you can see why there's no room in here for a refugium. But this little section I've got here, I'm going to fill this with the marine pure blocks that I've got in Dead Man's Chest. So that'll be good because that'll be active filtration because the water will be forced straight through the media to come out the bottom into the skimmer section, which is fine. And then I'm just gonna leave this there as a wee bubble trap thing. And then the return. And I might add a wee reactor in here at some stage. Um, and when I'm doing the cycle, well, once the cycle is complete, I'll, I'll maybe just tie a bag of roa foss onto here and have it hanging in front of there so the flow is going through it. Um, or I might actually plumb the reactor into here. That aquaforest one, I might just use that until I can get another one. But that's pretty much it for the sump. Everything's ready to rock and roll. All the plumbing is glued into position now, which is great. And absolutely in love with this skimmer kind of wait to get this thing going um pretty sure it's going to be amazing i haven't got a clue how to tune it <laughs> so i'll hate to go and read that big book that they gave me mate. gave me yet so we'll see if it like that is but yeah that's it so that's it for this episode thank you for watching till the next one bye bye